Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Hardland. This is yet another early access game that I had been kind of checking out ever since I ran across a video that Paul Soros Jr. did somewhat recently on it. In fact, I'll have that video uh, as a link in the description if you want to see more content of Hardland after this. Uh, he did a video run through of that. And uh, so I looked into this and the developer Mountain Sheep uh, sent along a copy for me. So that was quite generous of them. Now I've run around in here for a bit, kind of, I picked up some armor. I have a broken sword here, have a shield, a couple other things, been kind of getting used to the game, but I thought I would bring you guys in, explain a little bit about what's going on in the game, the little bit that I do know. <laughs> and uh, anyway, just kind of let you guys know about this game in case you hadn't heard of it. And if you wanted to follow it, keep an eye on it. I'll tell you right now, there's not a lot of content here. It's still quite early. And uh, obviously, we'll probably run into some bugs and things like that, but it's early access. That's how these things go. And like I said, I just like to give you guys a heads up on some things that are in the works that could be pretty cool. Now, I really like the art style of this game. The graphics and everything are very fun. Kind of the comical, I think somebody had described it almost like Pixar-like feel, which I think is, is pretty accurate. And I think that that's kind of different. It's definitely got a different feel. But uh, yeah, this game is essentially an action RPG of sorts. You know, you run around, you kill things, you get loot. Uh, there's not a lot of those things just yet, but that's that's kind of the idea here. Now their description of it, um, as I walk out here and see skeletons attacking, <laughs> hitting the guard, we have Paulina trying to run away here. Basically, they say their vision of Hardland is to give you a beautifully crafted fantasy world with procedurally generated dungeons. They say this place will be full of interesting creatures, loot, uh, all of that kind of stuff. They said they don't want to dictate how you play the game. Let me try to swing a little bit of this guy. Yeah, bust him up. <laughs> they said that they want you to tell your own story, run around and kind of do stuff. So basically in town right now, uh, a lot of the people have things you can get them. Their text is very brief. I'm just kind of show you somebody. We'll walk over to this guy, or Matilda, this girl. <laughs> Let's see. So you can see, do you have any weapons for sale? And blunderbuss is what they're looking for. Some of these people I just, uh, whoops, I did not mean to hit escape. Well, I did, actually. I meant to close this. <laughs> I thought escape would get me out of there. Anyway, um, they, they all have kind of things they want. So if we walk up to somebody, I, I, I often find myself just looking at the red text. I walk up, I click her, apple. Okay, she's looking for an apple. Now, a lot of that stuff you'll find here. Here's a barrel of apples. If I hit this, I think it'll like, yeah, knock it over. You see an apple fell out. So I can pick up an apple. And then I could go back to her and hit F. And you'll see now I can complete it by hitting F again. Very cool, so she gave us a steel sword. So anyway, it's very simple here in town. Um, I think elsewhere too, I think all the quests right now are pretty straightforward, it's just fetch me this thing. Um, and it, I can actually jump in my inventory and show you that we have the steel sword here. In the upper right, you'll see it does have a level requirement. I was reading that that's a pretty recent update that they added uh, level requirements to these things. Part of the plan, but they had only just got to it. You can see we've got all kinds of inventory space here, level, we have some stats, kind of your typical RPG elements here. There is a map we can go to, it's pretty cool looking. You can see that we're in the town of Fortuna, Fortuna, something along those lines, and uh, no quests right now. So that's kind of the basic layout of the game. There's some other towns, um, there's a town nearby that's got like um, ghouls, I think they are. I think they might give them a different name, but. Anyway, you can see the sun setting there, kind of bright in her face. We're gonna to get to see the uh, night cycle and everything, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's the that's the very quick and dirty. Uh, I actually saw somebody asked them, asked the developer, um, you know, basically, how do you describe this? Is it open world? Is it a sandbox? Um, and they actually said the most accurate way to describe it would be a collection of sandbox areas where uh, you can make use of all of the game mechanics. Just you know, building, the, you know, not building, uh, I was reading in the next part there, they say building things like you would in Minecraft is not going to be a part of the game. But uh, basically, you know, running around, doing anything you want, leveling up, getting loot, uh, yeah, it's kind of the basic idea there. So I think that the world is supposed to be procedurally generated. There you can see we've switched to night. Um, dungeons that are coming will certainly be. I've seen that mentioned a number of times. There is a way to reset your world in here, but I, th I don't know that it changed much, or at least my town layout didn't change. So let's see. Let's kind of check out some more stuff here. See, we got this wizard guy. You'll find these guys in town. He's got blue on him. So typically, I think you'll have something to do with... Uh, let's see here. Benefits bolt to find a few of these items for me. Okay, so he's looking for a pie and some poison mushrooms and a loot. 
But uh, one of these guys had some kind of green glowing around them, and they wanted me to find a green staff, so things were kind of related in that way. Now we have uh, monsters will spawn just outside of town. Uh, we've got an elf here. It looks like we've got some creatures fighting in this... Uh, have kind of moved in over here and that's kind of the cool part is that you creep out here and you'll see the trees kind of growing it kind of creeps me out a little bit <laughs> but everything kind of comes into existence as you move out here and you'll see there you go a bunch of skeletons spawn ahead including this giant one walking with this like flaming torch looks very cool so you could just run out here things will appear you can attack nope oh he knocked my helmet off <laughs> i really shouldn't be doing this you can see down the bottom left i have 10 health let's go ahead and swoop my helmet up if i can yep there we go <laughs> We're going to run our butt back this way. So anyway, you can see him chasing. Like I mentioned before about the graphics, very cool. I really like the look at this. And uh, I think this game has a lot of potential. That's one of the things that got me really interested in it. So right now they uh, right now they say that it's a uh, very incomplete open world experience is the way they describe it right now. You can run out there. Um, I don't know how much there is to the world. I did want to start running in one direction and see how far I could get, but... Anyway, uh, so that's something that I have not done. They have training areas to demonstrate different features, um, items you can use in combat. Nearly all the objects around here are destructible. Um, you can't go into any of the houses yet, but I read that that was, uh, that was a plan, that you'd be able to go into them at some point. Um, there's, I guess there's modding support right now. I haven't looked into that, but reading the current features, that's listed on there. So anyway, that, that's pretty much the extent of it. Now, I did read uh, some Q&A stuff. I'm going to pass through town here. Actually, you know what? Let's get this helmet on, or a helmet at least. This one has 400 to 400. So we'll do that. And um, I was reading through not a frequently asked questions section, although they did have that. They only answered a couple. I went through the forums and looked at what people were asking and looked at how the devil was kind of responding to those. Um, let's, oh yeah, I was going to say, I think there's a carrot thing around here somewhere. I'm going to look for a carrot farm while I get into this. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I gathered up some questions people were asking so that I could kind of fill you guys in a bit more. And uh, one of the first things I noticed was uh, people asking about how the combat was uh, going to work, how they see that coming along. They actually mentioned a game called Severance, Blade of Darkness, and they said that if you watch video clips of the combat from that, you get an idea of what they're going for for combat. I'm going to include a link to one of those videos down in my description, um, one that they in fact link to, so you can kind of see what they have uh, in mind there. Along those same lines, uh, people were asking about how deep the combat would be. I'm not seeing any carrots here. <laughs> I thought there was a carrot farm around here. I don't want to attack anything because I don't want to get hit. Actually, let's check. Do I have carrots on me? Maybe I do. No. Okay. I think there's a couple things on me that I could... No, no I guess not. I think I have one apple. But um, anyway, you can grab the food, put it in your hand, and eat it. It heals back some of your life. The uh, carrots you could find tons of, though. So anyway, yeah, where was I? <laughs> Back to the combat. So how deep will it be, somebody asked. Um, they said that they want uh, to have an opponent penalty for when you successfully block their blow. That's kind of like high on their to-do list. And then they said right behind that are improvements to ranged weapons. Um, and they want to include parrying in combat. I haven't actually used any ranged weapons. I didn't even know that was a thing you could get until I read that. But uh, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to run around a bit. i got to try and find some carrots. Aha! I found him not very far after I said that. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of tap E a whole bunch here. We're going to scoop up a lot of carrots. Our health is at 10 right now. There is a big skeleton nearby. He's kind of wreaking havoc over there, smacking some trees around. Let's see. Carrots. We can put those in this hand. And then we can right click and eat that. So that gave us a bit. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't really put a stack in there. Um, you kind of have to. I thought one time that I had two. I was able to right click and then right click again, but that is not the case. I'm just going to do this a few more times. Something like this. I think I threw that carrot. <laughs> Haha, eat carrot. Okay, 41 of 500 is probably good enough. Let's run over here. Now one of the things I looked for, let's see, before I get into that, let me explain something else about combat. One of the things I noticed is it's really nice to throw things at these guys, because it does some decent damage. So we're going to do that to this guy a bit. You can see he's got a lot of life. That rock didn't do a whole lot. And I can hold down E and like throw it like farther and stuff. Let's see here, kind of 
<laughs> kite him around the trees a bit. He's still following us. He's trying to hack through the trees to get to me. There's a pathway right here, man. <sighs> Where's he at now? Yeah, see, he's barely down. I find myself kiting him into guards a little bit, <laughs> trying to get a little bit of help. I actually don't see any immediately nearby. Here, this way. Look at him march at me. And then, of course, I ran out of rocks. Come on over here. So I was looking for a roadmap online. I like to see where devs kind of plan on taking the game. And unfortunately, they don't have a roadmap online. Um, somebody asked about it and they said, you know what? Well, we, if we do that, then people take that as promises. Um, so anyway, that's kind of a bummer. I'd like to see their plans. I feel like you can do that. I feel like you can share a roadmap, but kind of have that disclaimer. I know it seems like... Obviously, there's going to be some people who disregard that and say, hey, you were going to do this. But, I mean, really, if, if you put a disclaimer on there that's like, things could change, I don't know. Should you really be concerned about the people who just can't, you know, grasp that concept? I don't know. To me, it's not a big deal. I definitely would like to see what they have planned. Anyway, the whole point is of that is that there is no roadmap, so we don't have really a whole lot of specifics. They only are really talking about some of the stuff coming in the immediate future but again this is one of those things I'm one of those kinds of people that gets really excited about potential but the potential and the possibilities and I think this one's got a lot Whew. Uh, let's see I talked about dungeons earlier uh, dungeons are coming apparently there's gonna be portals to these dungeons um, somebody actually asked if there were gonna be instances and essentially it sounds like they are going to be instances they're not calling them instances or calling them like a world but um, they did say that this world, for example, does uh, pause, essentially, when you go into a dungeon. So it's it's kind of like an instance. Um, and uh, those would be randomly generated or procedurally generated. I mentioned that earlier. So that's kind of cool. Um, but one of the things they talked about in that was that they would be kind of increasingly difficult as you go down into them, which is, you know, not, not too, uh, too out of the ordinary. But that's kind of the plan they have, is to have bosses um, of sorts. I think one of the th things mentioned that you could run into bosses at the end, but you could also run into some, you know, um, larger, you know, bosses, maybe even midway through or so. Where's this guy at? How low is he? We're getting in there slowly. Homer the Timeless. Don't hit me. <laughs> they hit really hard. For those of you who might have watched the Paul Soros Jr. video, you know that these guys hit pretty hard. I may end up getting hit by him, but I'm going to do everything I can not to. Whoa! He broke that rock up. You can actually like hammer these, like I could sit here with my sword and you see it's got the damage. Like I could sit here and break this, but I don't know. Maybe it was pretty well damaged, but these guys hit very hard. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I leveled up. Sweet. So somebody dropped him. Look at this. A shield popped down over here. Oh, wait. Was this mine? <laughs> I just realized I don't have my shield anymore. Uh, let's just throw this one on. Yeah, round one. That'll work. That'll work. So let's see. Um, I actually wanted to try something. You guys can watch me test this out. Somebody was saying that if you pick up NPCs, I've got one now. I could go into my inventory. And I have Blind Cameron. And I could drop him in here. <laughs> okay, cool. So he's actually in my inventory. And I could run out here. I wanted to see if they fixed this. Because somebody mentioned this, I think it was like a month ago. And I was like, you know what? I'm testing that theory. So I could run out here and say, you know what? I need you. I need you out here in my life. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, somebody on the forums had mentioned that they basically scooped up a bunch of town guards and uh, put them in their inventory and towed them around with them. <laughs> there is a blacksmith in town, and they had also said they grabbed the blacksmith because the blacksmith can repair items and they would carry them around. So I thought that was pretty sweet. Anyway, it looks like that's still in the game, but hey, it's early. They'll get around to it. I think he even mentioned that they had added that to the list. Okay, I haven't wandered too far from town, so I thought I would do that and show you some of the environments. You can see at the edge, there's kind of like a snowy area just ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and step into that and show you how that works. Basically, when you cross over the line here, everything slowly changes, which is interesting. It's kind of funny when you look back and see that the town now has snow in it. But if you just cross back over here, <laughs> everything becomes green again. I'm not sure that that's really too big a deal for me. Um... You know, as far as like immersion breaking or anything, I think it's totally fine. It's not really your focus in these games, right? You're running around killing stuff. <laughs> it's kind of the idea. But uh, anyway, I'm going to kind of run out here a bit. There was this structure. I mean, there is that house over there. But um, there was this place. 
type thing. <laughs> I know that makes a whole lot of sense right now. Thought I would see if I could find it. Are you a bandit? See, this guy's trying to hunt me down. You got bad guys out here. More more skeletons running around. So you have these like uh, forgotten guys, and then you have these ghouls or something. They have their brains showing. You have skeletons. You have bandits, and then you do have these big boars running around every once in a while. I think that's. I don't want to say that's the extent of the bad guys. It's. It is certainly the extent um, as far as I've seen. Oh, here we go. I have not. I don't think I've seen these kind of guys before. What's he? He's got an actual name. Oh, they might be goblins. Actually, you know what? I think I did see goblins. So, there's a number of uh, creatures to contend with right now. And here's one of the uh, ghouls. I'll go out here and you can see they got the brain kind of... Brain exposed and everything. I don't know if that's actually... Yeah, it is a ghoul. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know if they're actually ghouls. So, one of the things you actually start with in your inventory, too. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. It does pause the game. Is you have these masks. So, we can actually put on a ghoul mask and throw this on. There you go. So we got a cool looking ghoul mask. And I think, let's see, we're going to test this out. Yeah, it makes you cool with these guys. So we can actually like interact with them. Um, in this case, carry them. And not have to worry about them attacking us. It doesn't help us. They don't, they're not kind of part of one faction. Uh, like skeletons and ghouls, for example. So if I kind of walk up, I think these guys will want to attack me. Oh, they don't. Okay, cool. I actually thought they were um, broken into their individual... Oh, maybe when I had the chicken hat on. <laughs> Let's throw the chicken hat on. Why not? Get over here. There we go. We're in chicken mode. That, oh, that gets kind of weird with the helmet on, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, you can see him swinging at us now. So it doesn't change anything uh, being a chicken, but <laughs> the chicken man. Let's cruise over here. I'll try to get a high vantage point. I'm looking for this one particular structure. I actually thought it was over in this area, but I guess not. Let's see, I could cut through town to that hill on the other side. There is water, for those wondering. I did run into an ocean-like area. Uh, you don't swim, you just run along the ground. I forgot, are these bad guys here? <laughs> He's afraid of the chicken head. Hide! That's kind of a cool thing, too. Like, when you put on the ghoul helmet, or the, uh, the ghoul mask and stuff, it will kind of freak people out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no! Oh, we got a chest here. Let's carry this. <laughs> oh, I didn't grab it. Oh, you have to have the large key. Okay, can't actually like take that with me. One more time, actually. Let's check this. Carry. There we go. So I can carry the chest. Actually, what's funny is, you know what you do? You just take this. If we can do this. Yeah. Cool. And then we will try and open it later with a key. And I, when I say we will, you guys probably won't see that. Because I've only run across a key once. And uh, I don't imagine I'll run into one during the course of this video. So here's kind of another cool area. You've got skeletons, and I think they kind of hang together. Skeletons and ghouls in these, like, towns. There's kind of blue glowy up on the house up there. That's cool. As far as I know, though, you can't go up there because you need to be able to get inside. I don't think we can do that from what I read. Yeah. Actually, I just realized I don't have my sword out. Where'd my sword go? Let's see. I can't use that. It's level 3. What do we have? Steel is level 3, the weak sword, there we go. We're level 2, so we can use the weak sword now. And a shield. So every once in a while you do just kind of drop these. I think they'll break too. And I think that's probably what's happening most of the time. But I have been hit every once in a while. Uh, as you saw earlier, you'll get hit and the helmet will just come right off your head. Oh, I can't even like pick this one up. A majestic key. That's a cool looking chest, I've never seen one. And <laughs> we'll leave that to him. Well, I decided I would just start running and uh, I've come across this. Past a couple other things of interest, but I noticed the bones up here on the hill. I wanted to check that out. Looks like we've got some kind of house. Oh, and check this out. We've got another... Uh, oops, let's go ahead and pick this up. <laughs> sure, we're going to go ahead and hang on to this. Take this chest with... Is this another one? What is this guy? Small one. I might, I might actually be able to open this one. Nope. Run! Oh no, you guys! I'm about to die. Oh, nope. Okay, cool. <laughs> a lot of them did. I thought they were all going to hit me at the same time, including the big guys. I was like, I am toast. And in my frantic, uh, my frantic attempt to get out, I hit escape once again. So you can see down there to the uh, water below. That's kind of cool. Looks like there's some kind of building down there. We'll go ahead and check that out. But uh, 
Let me just talk about a couple more things too that I ran across uh, in, in looking up some information about the game. Some of you are probably wondering about crafting. Um, there is no crafting in the game right now, but they did say that it's in the works in a message that was posted. Oh, look at the shadows behind us. We got people following us. <laughs> uh, in a message posted January 23rd, they said that crafting is in the works and everything. So that's kind of cool. Um, that'll be interesting to see how that's implemented. Maybe interaction with some kind of a workbench or with a blacksmith or something. That could be pretty cool. I'm actually curious if these guys will follow me into the water. Let's see this. So you run along the bottom. Yes, they do. <laughs> they couldn't care less. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's the thing about crafting. Crafting is coming. Um, I was wondering that myself when I first checked this out. Another big thing, well, actually one of the first things I wondered when I first jumped in here was, man, this would be kind of cool multiplayer. I want to play with other people. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that uh, their response to that question about multiplayer was that there are no plans for multiplayer right now. So not in the works. I would not count on that if you are considering checking this out you know, and you're thinking just from a multiplayer standpoint. Probably not. Probably not going to happen. Oh, where'd my sword go? Let's try this again. I think because I pick up the uh, the chest it, and it takes both my hands. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem? <laughs> I am not sure. Okay, let's see here. We have 452 hit points. So these two light guys. Let's see how much we can do here. Yeah. Take it take it. Now I know I can hold right click and it puts the shield up. I'm not sure how much. Let's check that out. Oh, okay, so that reduces the armor. I think that's actually directly damaging the shield, so that thing will bust apart if I keep doing that. Ugh, let's finish this guy. Try to aim at him. You do take these little steps forward when you're attacking. There we go. Toasted. Well, I, I do really like that when you break these guys up, the armor and stuff falls, you can pick it up. Not every piece. I've seen some pieces fall like a bracers before like on their arms and you can't pick those up but you can pick up the helmet shield stuff like that sometimes the armor and it's also a good indication of whether these guys are difficult or not uh, for example there's skeletons that roam around that um don't have a head and just have like a sword and those guys are pretty easy to take down when you see these guys running around with armor and everything that's a different story and you know i told you you could pick stuff up and then of course i can't pick any of these guys stuff up but at least there's a shield here now we do have money. Um, I've got 220 gold. Uh, there are uh, these... Um, you'll see like a vase every once in a while. Just laying on the ground. You can actually smack those apart and find gold inside. So that's a good way to get money. Um, but I have not explored the potential use of any money. In fact, people have said there's a blacksmith where you can repair your weapons. I haven't interacted with him. <laughs> I'll tell you that now, I have not seen him. So uh, that's one thing I have not tested. But I think I've kind of given you guys a quick, you know, overview, which is really what I was looking to do. Just kind of introduce you to the game if you haven't heard of it. Um, try to explain to you what's going on as best I can, with the information that I could research online. And uh, yeah, just guys, let you guys know that there's something out here something different <laughs> anyway i think i'll leave it at that as i try and take the skeleton down and not die myself i do want to thank you guys for watching please do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and uh leave me a comment let me know what you think of the game if this looks interesting to you what you might want to see them add to the game things like that would be definitely appreciated i will likely revisit this game when they've made some more updates so i can tell you about some of the new stuff that's come in but uh, otherwise, I think we'll leave it at that. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.